Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects CC 2018 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create 3D shapes inside Adobe After Effects using the Cinema 4D renderer and extrusion. I know that sounds like a mouthful, but uh, in, in After Effects, a lot of people... Uh, for, especially for motion graphics and, and, and stuff like that. You use a lot of 2D shapes, a lot of 2D animations, and I'm going to show you how to do some 3D-ish looking stuff. So let's just get right into this. If you want to follow along with me, let's do that. Um, I've just got After Effects open. I'm going to click on New Composition, left-click on that, and I'm just going to create a composition, 1920 by 1080. Honestly, the, um, the, the parameters don't matter too much for the beginning here. The next step, I'm going to go ahead and start creating some shapes. So I'm going to go over here to my shape layer, and I'm just going to click on the rectangle tool, and I'm going to make a small rectangle here. Let's make it a square. And then I'm going to click off, and then I'm going to maybe make a circle over here. Share a little circle there. And I'm going to click off of it because I want to keep them all on separate shape layers. And then for the last one, I'm going to create a little star over here or something like that. Yeah, sure. That's a bit big. And presto. We've got three shape layers, as you can see here down at the bottom. Good. And we'll just bunch these up a little bit. And we are going to start making these 3D in a few short seconds. So um, also, you'll notice that I have a fill of red and I have no stroke selected. Not a big deal, but eh, whatever. So the next step, guys, and this part is kind of tricky because it's not, you know, for a lot of people, it's not obvious. What you want to do is you want to go up to your composition. You want to go to composition settings, and then you're going to see basic, advanced, and 3D renderer. This is the one that you want to click on. Now, I've got it set to Cinema 4D because I was just working in it. But 99.9 .9 out of 100 times, it's going to be set to classic 3D like this. Drop that down to Cinema 4D, and when you do that, you're going to see a whole bunch of things are disabled. Um, motion blur, depth of field, shadow exception, light transmission, a bunch of stuff. But there's some things that are enabled. In particular, extruded and beveled text and shapes. That's what we're looking for in this case, because we want them to be extruded, and we want that 3D look. So I'm going to hit OK, and presto, nothing happens. Do not despair. There are more steps to follow. Now, let's work on all three of these at the same time. So I'm just going to hold down Shift key and select all three. Then I'm going to drop down the little triangle transform. And I'm going to drop down. Uh, actually, you know what? Before I do that, let's go ahead and do another really, really important step. We haven't made these layers 3D because we are working in 3D now. So let's go ahead and click this little 3D layer box. One, two, three. If you do not see that, uh, little 3D box. You want to hover over the columns here, over any column like this one or the parent or whatever you see. Right click, go down to columns, and make sure there's a check mark beside parent. That way you can see it. Um, actually, check mark beside, yeah, no, um, parent and switch is part of me. And then you'll be able to see this 3D layer. So now they're 3D. Now we're in business. You still don't see anything yet, but bear with me. We've got some work to do. Now that they're 3D, and we've got the composition, we've changed the composition to the Cinema 4D renderer. Now you're going to see we've got something called geometry options. Now I'm going to go ahead and select all the layers again. I'm going to drop down geometry options. And now, well, here we go. Now we can get to work. We can go ahead and increase the bevel. Or more particularly for us, we're going to increase the extrusion depth. And I'm going to increase it up to like 100 or something just because I want it to be quite large and then I will click and again you're, if I look at it you won't really see it but if you look at this far left one here you're gonna see that it looks like it's kind of got this uh, 3d shape look to it again you're not gonna see too much yet however and here's where you can really sell the effect the next step I like to do is I create a new light and this light is going to sell it here we go so I right click here I go to New, and then I go to Light. I'm going to use a point light. I'm going to use white color, sure, just standard stuff for now. Click OK. Now you guys are seeing what's going on here. We've got this, we've sold the effect. The circle's right in the middle, 
So that one's kind of be a little tougher to sell, but I'll show you how to rotate that. But now we've got a 3D, basically we've got 3D effect going on to these shape layers. Now one of the things that I recommend doing is, let's take the middle one actually, the shape layer, uh, the circle. Switch over here and go to your rotation tool. And now I'm going to start to move it. And when I do that, well, you don't have to be a rocket scientist, you see what's going on. Now you can tell that this is a 3D shape layer and you can actually go in there and just start doing stuff to it. So if you want to like do your standard rotations, your animations, all of that is now available. Super cool. This is the best way that I find to create 3D shapes inside Adobe After Effects. Um, there are a couple other things you can do if you want to like, you know, change the look. You can do all sorts of things like change it metal, reflection intensity, you know, ambient, just drop that down a bit, maybe. I mean, you can really go nuts in here. But again, guys, just doing that alone, you've got it. You've got some 3D shapes. Then go nuts, animate it, do whatever the hell you want to do. You're at go time, guys. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped. If you have anything that you want to learn in particular, yeah, just leave me a message or, or put a note in one of my videos or in the comments, and I'll make a video for you. Thank you for watching. See you soon.